Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with another game in my Phillies season. Again, a quick recap. I am taking the Phillies 2020 team through what would have been the actual 2020 season for them had there not been such thing as COVID in 2020. And we are in game 16 right now. The Phillies come in with a terrible record, though. They're 4-11 and going up against Cincinnati. And uh, we are in Cincinnati. The pitching matchup today will be um, Spencer Howard for the Phillies, who is 1-0 with a 0 ERA coming into this game, and Tyler Maley uh, for the Cincinnati Reds, who's 2-0 with a 270 earned run average. And I will go over the lineups the first time that each team bats. We are on the road, the Phillies are, so this is the Phillies lineup. It will start off with McCutcheon in left field. Then Scott Kingery will be in center field. Hazley will bat third, and he'll be the DH. Uh, Harper will be in the cleanup spot and playing right field. Hoskins will be at first base batting fifth. Gregorius will be the shortstop batting sixth. Baum will be at third. Real Muto will be at catcher batting eighth. And Segura will be the ninth place hitter uh, at second base. Stay tuned. After the game is over, I will go to the statistics and the updated statistics, uh, which include game six, will include game 16, so that we can see the standings, we can see what the Phillies are doing, we can see what the other teams in the league are doing. So with that, McCutcheon is batting, and he gets a 5-7 batting right against Maley, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Maley has a, has a K on the first batter. Scott Kingery is the batter, and he is the center fielder today. That is a 6-7 batting right. That is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman for the Reds is a 4-E-4. And that is a nine. So let's see what that is. That's going to be on the E4. So we'll re-roll that. That's an 11 on E4. And that's going to be a ground ball A. So Kingery goes four to three. And that brings up Hazley. And Hazley gets a 4-6 batting left. That's going to be a walk. Hazley is aboard. That's the first man to reach against Maley. And gives way to our cleanup hitter, Bryce Hart. And he gets a 3-9 against a righty, and that's going to be a strikeout. So two strikeouts in the inning, four Maley, he didn't allow a hit. We go to the bottom of the first inning. And the Reds lineup will be Travis Jankowski leading off and playing right field. Goodwin will be in center field batting second. Suarez will be the uh, third place hitter and playing third. In the cleanup spot will be Jesse Winker in left field. Moustakis will be at second and batting fifth. Castellanos will be the DH today. Vado will be the first baseman batting seventh. Freddie Galvis will bat eighth and be the shortstop. And Tucker Barnhart will be the catcher batting ninth. And that brings up Jankowski against Spencer Howard. And he gets a 3-10 against a righty, and that's going to be a walk. So Jankowski immediately gets on. Howard immediately allows the first batter that he faces to, to reach base. Brian Goodwin is up. He gets a 112 against a righty. That's a fly ball left field, one away. That brings up Suarez, Eugenio Suarez. And he gets a 410 batting right. And that is going to be a. Um, that is going to be actually an out. That is a line out to second. Or no, wait. It is a, um, let's see, 410. That is going to be a fly ball to center. 
So two out quickly, and that brings up Jesse Winker. And he gets a 1-6 against a righty, and that is going to be just just barely an out. It's going to be a ground ball to third, 5-3. to three. Winker goes out. And we are going to the top of the second inning in a 0-0 scoreless tie. And Hoskins is the batter. He gets a 6-8 batting right. That is going to be a fly ball to center. Which brings up Gregorius. Gregorius today playing shortstop for the Phillies. And he gets a 6-8 batting left. That is going to be a strikeout. Which brings up Alec Baum. Alec Baum with a 5-5 batting right. That is going to be a strikeout. And, uh, yep, strikeout. So he uh, mainly has four strikeouts in the first two innings against us. We go to the bottom of the second in a scoreless tie. And Mustakis is the batter. He gets a... 6-8, batting left, and that is going to be a an out. It's going to be a fly ball, um, fly ball right field. That brings up Castellanos. Today, Castellanos is the DH, the first three games of the series, and this has been a four-game series. He was in right field, and he did give up a few hits. Um, that is a 4-12 batting right, and that is going to be a... Home run. Is it? Yes, it is. It is a home run. So Castellanos touches them all and uh, draws the first blood of the game. And it's one nothing with Votto up. Votto gets a 3-2, and that is going to be a walk. So now all of a sudden Howard's just completely fallen apart. Uh, one out in the inning, and Freddie Gelbis, the shortstop, and dice went everywhere. The one over there is a four. That is a six, so it's a ten, a six ten. Um, batting left, and that is going to be a. Um, that is going to be a fly ball to right field. F9 and Tucker Barnhouse. 5-8, batting left. And that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. Our second baseman is a 2-E-20. That is a, an 18. Probably going to be an out. And it is. Four to three. Barnhart with a home run in the series, but he's out there. And Cincinnati draws first blood. They have a one nothing lead as we go to the top of the third. Now, Cincinnati, actually, in the 2020 um, uh, COVID-shortened season of 60 games, was pretty good. J.T. Real Muto is the catcher. He gets a 5-6 batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout. No, it's a fly ball right field. Um, and if you're wondering why Real Muto is batting as low as uh, I have him, it's because he sucks this year. Segura is up, and he gets a 1-4, and that is going to be a, a pop-out to second base. And there's two down quickly, and that brings up uh, Andrew McCutcheon, and that's the story of our lives. I mean, we don't get, we're just not getting hits. And that is a 2-5, uh, and that'll be a line out to second base. No runs in the third. We go to the bottom of the third. Travis Janikowski is the batter. Top of the order for the Reds, and that gets a 6-9. Batting left. And that is going to be a home run. It's just a plain home run for Jan. Oh, wait a minute. It's an end home run. And 
Uh, he No, actually, he's weak, so he has a single. It's just a single. So Howard was lucky on that one. Um, Jankowski's aboard, though, with no outs and Goodwin out. Goodwin gets a 1-4. Now, that is a home run 1-17, to and it is. It's a, it's a two-run homer. So he didn't, ex he didn't escape for long. Now, he does have, uh, Spencer Howard does have a problem with home runs, as you can see. Because it's 3 nothing, And they've hit a home run. And Eugenio Suarez is the batter. He gets a 6-6 six, six batting right. That is going to be a strikeout. There's one away, and... Winker up. Winker gets a 1-4. That's going to be a ground ball to short, 6-3. to three. And Moustakis is now the batter. And he gets a 4-9 batting left, and that is going to be a strikeout. So, yep. Strikeout, Howard strikes the man out, but he gives up two more runs. And now we are down 3 nothing as we go to the top of the fourth. Can't get really anything going against Maley. In fact, Maley has a no-hitter going, and I don't feel like I'm jinxing him because I don't believe in that. So it's a 5-10 batting right, and that is going to be a catcher card X. Their catcher is a 1-E-1. That is a 14. I'm going to guess it's an out. It is a pop-out. So, pop-out to the catcher for Kingery. And Hazley is the batter. And he gets the 3-8, and that's going to be a line-out to first. And that brings up Harper. And that is a 4-4 batting left, and that's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. Their third baseman is a 3-E-14. That's an 8. And we'll have to go to the E rating, which is a 12. And uh, 12 is going to be an E-1. So he makes a one base error. Harper reaching on the uh, the good E5. And Hoskins up. Hoskins getting a 2-8, and that's a ground ball, third base. 5-3, to three, and we're out of the inning. No runs come across for us. We go to the bottom of the fourth, and we're getting smoked 3-0. Castellanos will be the batter. That is a 2-7, and that's going to be a strikeout for Castellanos. That is only the second strikeout for Howard today. Joey Vala, he gets a 2-7, and that's going to be a strikeout. So he strikes out the first two guys he faces. And Freddy Gallagher comes up. He gets a 6-6 six, six batting left. That's going to be a walk. Galvis is aboard. And Barnhart is a batter. He gets a 5-8 batting left. That's going to be a ground, out to, a ground ball to second. He is, for us, a 2-E-10. That is a 16. I'm going to guess it's an out. It is. So he goes out 4-3 and ends the uh, inning for the Reds. They get no runs in the fourth. We go to the top of the fifth. We're losing 3-0. 
That's not insurmountable, except that it is if you were to look at how we're, we've been hitting. Didi Gregorio. Right? He gets a 1-6, and that's going to be a single. So let's see if we can start something out here. That is the first hit also off of Maley. He had also walked a guy. Alec Baum gets a 2-2, two -two, and that is going to be a, a fly ball to left, one away. Real Muto is up. 5-7, batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout. Real Muto continues his struggles at the plate this year. And Segura. And he gets a 3-6, and that's going to be a fly ball center field. I don't know why. I mean, these guys, these Phillies do have hits on their cards. They have decent cards. I don't know why every time I roll, I seem to miss all of their hits. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Um, I am going to let Howard pitch this inning. He's probably tired in reality, but uh, we're not playing reality. We're playing Bob Zolke in the 80s reality. So Tucker Barnhart gets a 5-10. Batting left, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop for the Phillies is a 2-E-10. That is an 11. And uh, that is going to be on, an, on the E-10. So that's a 4. And uh, 4 is going to be an E-1. So he makes an error. Tucker Barnhart gets a board. Or no, no, that was Jankowski. And he gets a board with an error by um, the shortstop. So an E6. And Goodwin is the batter. He gets a 6-10 batting left. That is going to be a... Um, that is going to be a fly ball center field. One down, man at first, and Suarez up. Suarez getting a 3-7, that's a strikeout. Howard really has not pitched that poorly. He's given up three runs. And normally, you would think that the Phillies would be able to, to hang with that. 4-5 for a lefty, that's going to be a strikeout. So he, so Howard actually has struck out five guys. He struck out five guys. He's allowed um, six guys on in five innings and three runs. I mean, he's, he's pitching okay. It's just we can't get anything off of Maley. And they really, I mean, the Reds pitching staff, it's not surprising they're so good. The Reds pitching staff has Maley, Castillo, um, the guy that was uh, banished to uh, <laughs> to Japan. Um, I forget his name. Um, and then they, you know, they've got it. I mean, they have a good starting staff. Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon gets a 1-7. That's going to be a strikeout. So he strikes out to lead off the sixth against Bailey. Yeah, Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer, I mean, you know, so Trevor Bauer, Castillo, Maley, and the other guy that pitched against us wasn't too bad either. King. Kingery is up. He gets a 5-12 batting right, and that is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. Their first baseman is a 4-E-16. I'm surprised Vado is that bad, but he is. And that's a nine. So we're going to go to the E16. And that is a nine on an E16. And that is going to be a ground ball. And I believe that is, no, that's the second out. Two down and Hazley up. And Hazley gets a 5-4, batting left. 
and that's going to be a fly to center. Their center fielder is a 3E4. That is a 1. 1 and 3, is that a, that's a double. So we got a double out of Hazley. Let's see if we can manage not to waste that. Only the second hit off of Maley today and Harper the batter. And he gets a 2-6 batting against a righty, and that's going to be a double, and it's going to knock in a run. So at least we have a run. Maley gives up his third hit in the first run that he's allowed. And with Harper at second, we have Hoskins. And that is going to be a 5-4 batting right. That's a fly to center. Their center fielder is a 3-E-8. That is a 9. That is going to be on the E-8. So we're going to the air. That is a 7 on an E-8. And that is going to be <coughs> a fly ball B. So he flies out to center. And there is no further damage done by us. But we do uh, manage to get a run. In the sixth inning, we go to the bottom of the sixth. It's three to one. And I am going to take Howard out. So Howard only goes five innings. Um, and let's see who we're going to bring in. We're going to bring in Heath Hembry. He hasn't pitched in a while, so. Hembry will face Moustakis. And he will face Moustakis, Castellanos, and Vado. So he's coming in and facing a tough lineup. 3-9, though, is going to be a strikeout for Mistakis. That brings up Castellanos. Castellanos getting a 1-7. That is going to be a ground ball shortstop, 6-3. And Votto is the hitter. And that is a 5-9 batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. So Hembry strikes out two of the three men he faced. Does really well in the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh. If we could just get something here. Reese Hoskins is the batter. Maley's still out there because he's pitching great. 1-3 is, though, a... Um, that's going to be an out. It's going to be a line out to second base. Or wait a minute. That was supposed to be Gregorius. So 1-3 is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. So he grounds out to first. That's one down. And Alec Baum is up. And he gets a 6-6. Six, six. That's going to be a single. So Baum is aboard with a hit. Fourth hit allowed. Real Muto is up. He gets a 6-7 batting right. That is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. He is a 4-E-4. That is a 4. That might be something. That is going to be a single double asterisk. So we got something going now. There's one out. And runners are at the corners. And um, Real Muto, he's the batter. He gets a 6-9 batting right. That is going to be a... That's going to be a single double asterisk and knock in another run. Or no, wait a minute. 
that was Segura. All right, so that was Segura, 6-9. Doesn't matter, it's still the same thing. It's a single. Run scores. Mailey gives up his sixth hit, second run. Runners are still at the corners. And Andrew McCutcheon. And he gets a 2-7. And that's going to be a single to knock in a run. Single to right field. We aren't going to try to stretch it. I mean, with this team, we're not stretching anything. But it's a tie game, so we don't really have to at this particular moment. There's still only one out in Kingery up. And Kingery with a 1-9 is going to strike out. So there's a strikeout and two down and Hazley out. And Hazley gets a 5-4 batting left. That's going to be a fly to center. And the center fielder is, for them, is a 3-E-4. That is a 9. That is going to be on the E-4. Would be nice if he would make an error. 5 on an E-4 is going to be... A fly ball. So he flies out to center. But we do tie the game. And we go to the bottom of the seventh. Freddie Galvis is up. We're still going to keep Hembry out there for the moment. He gets a 180, pitched well the last inning, so he gets a ground ball, first base. Ground out three, and Barnhart is up with one down. That is a 2 9, that's going to be a strikeout. And. Jankowski is the batter, and he gets a 4-5 batting left. That is going to be a strikeout. So Hembry has actually pitched quite well, despite the fact that his real-life statistics were not very good for the 60 games that he, that he um, for the 60 games on which he was on the Phillies. Adam Hazley will be the, the no, Harper, will be the batter in the um, eighth inning they're going to take Maley out. So Maley is only going to go seven and stop there. And we will see who they bring in. Because the, uh, the chinks in the armor were starting to show with him. So they will bring in TJ Antone. Antone on to pitch to Bryce Harper. Top of the eighth. High game at three. And he gets a 5-12 batting left. That's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman. And uh, the third baseman for them is a is a 3-E-14. That is a nine. Uh, nine and three. E-14. That is an eight. Um... And eight is going to be a ground ball A. So Harper goes out five to three. And we have um, Hoskins up. Four, eight, batting right. That's going to be a strikeout. Antone strikes out um, Hoskins and Gregorius is up. And Gregorius gets a 1-4, and that's a ground ball to the third baseman. He goes out 5-3. No runs come in for us. We go to the bottom of the eighth. And I am going to take Hembry out. Hembry's only going to have pitched two innings, though it was a great two innings. He pitched actually very well. And he will give way to... Brandon Workman. So we're going to bring in Workman to pitch. And he's pitching to Brian Goodwin. And 
And this is the bottom of the eight. And that is a 3-5 batting against a righty, as Workman is. And that is going to be a line out to second base. Line out four, there's one down. And Suarez is up. He gets a one nine, and that's a home run. Suarez jacks one. And the Reds take the lead again, four three. Which brings up Jesse Winkler. And he gets a 2-8, and that's a single. And all of a sudden, they're just going off. Moustakis is up. He gets a 4-7 batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. And Castellanos is the batter. He gets a 211. That's going to be a ground ball to the third baseman, 5 to 3. And they get a run. So we have to get a run right here, or the game will end. And they are going to keep Antone out there. No, they're not. They are not going to do that. Antone only goes one inning. They're going to bring in Sims. Lucas Sims will come in. He's going to try to slam the door. Alec Baum is the batter that's going to try to break through the door. That is a 2-4, and he is a righty. That is going to be a ground ball second base. He goes out 4-3, and Real Muto is up. And he gets a 3-3, three, three, and that's a that's going to be, no, that is going to be a line out to the second baseman. And that brings it all up to Segura. And he gets a 3-5, and he strikes out, and that is the game, and we lose yet again. We lose by the score of 4-3. The uh, the uh, save goes to Sims, who pitches one really good inning. The win goes to Antone, and the loss goes to Workman. All right, well, as promised, I am now going to take a look at the updated standings after that crushing loss to the Reds uh, by the score of 4-3. to three. With a home run in the in the eighth inning, in the eighth inning by, um, I think it was, uh, was it was it Castellanos, maybe Castellanos. But anyway, with a home run in the eighth inning, the Reds defeated us four three, and so this is what the standings now look like, and. Uh, you can see, and we'll focus mainly on the National League here, um, but you can see we are in last place in the East. We're even worse than Washington, which you have to do. you got to go some to be worse than Washington, but we're 4-12, and 12, and Washington is 5-10. and 10. We're worse than Pittsburgh. Again, you have to go some to be worse than Pittsburgh. So, And there is no team worse than us. So, I mean, Arizona's also 4-12. and 12. And there isn't even a team worse than us on the other side in the American League. So, uh, so here's where everybody is. Uh, the White Sox are 10-5, and 5, leading the division in the AL Central. In the AL East, the Yankees are leading with an 11-5 record, but Tampa Bay is only a game and a half behind them. Um... So, you know, and then we'll take a look here. The Mets are 7-8 and eight and 3.5 and behind Miami in our division. Miami is 11-5. and five, Not a bad team. And they weren't a bad team in real life either. Um, Cincinnati is 12-3. Uh, and three. So Cincinnati was a, uh, they were a fine ball club, the Cincinnati Reds were. So, uh. 
Um, yeah, so we're not doing well. Let's take a look at our Phillies statistics as a team. Team stats. We are 4-12. and 12. We are 1-4 and four at home. And 3-8 and eight on the road, so we can't wait to get on the road again. On the road again. And um, we are 1-1 one one against Toronto. And uh, how did we do against the Reds? We were 0-4. They swept us in four games straight. We're 0-3 against Milwaukee, and that's the team we play next. We go back and uh, we're going to play Milwaukee again. So that's going to be uh, fun. So you can see we are um, we have problems, and we will uh, we'll take a look at our team stats, our primary team stats. We're hitting 217, so not very good. Uh, hitting 217 as a team, 14 home runs in 16 games. And we have a 433 earned run average. Now, the 433 earned run average in and of itself is not that bad. In fact, we've uh, allowed 137 hits and 143 innings. So, overall, there we're not that bad. But, yeah, we got to improve on these things. Now, I'm not going to show the entire, like, the entire league and the league leaders yet because this is just 16 games in. We'll do that uh, at some other point, but... I just wanted to let you guys see what it looks like. I mean, it looks really bad. I don't know. I mean, I just have no idea why t uh, cards as good as the Phillies cards are playing this poorly. Now, that's not to say that the Phillies had a great team and that their cards should be great or that their cards are great, but they should be a lot better than a 4-12 and record. So that's where we are, and uh, hopefully our uh, fortunes will improve as we go forward. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.